I'm sick and tired of these same old broke No job, all they wanna do is Get some money, why you wanna watch mine? Ain't no telling what I'm gonna be driving next time So you've all come on board this season as full-time regular nights um, Did you know that was gonna happen for a while or is that a surprise to you? Uh, it was kind of, uh, I guess, a bit of a surprise uh, But then obviously the way the end of Series 3 ended We had a feeling that that's maybe where the show was going So. I think because we made the show better, it was kind of inevitable. I love it. I, I'm, answering, <laughs> I'm answering so seriously and going, yeah, it's probably, you know. And you're going, no, uh, we, uh, we just knew because of that good. Oh, right. these, right. these, these weird great, answers. Great, great. <laughs> so we have, we have a little thing. Rupert's usually the official spokesperson for kind of really, yeah, maybe really, I really I dull, I give them a go no, today. really dull, boring, thorough, kind of, you know, intellectual answers. Yeah, you're wow. really going to find out what they're like. No, I think we really, I, I joined two years ago with only one, I was only meant to be in one scene and then it kind of gradually got bigger and last year we saw the end of the season we were like uh, waiting to see because we came in for the last two and we didn't know if we were going to carry on and if yeah. it worked and we hoped that there was talk of it but you never yeah, know. It's definitely something that we script. all wanted. Was, yeah. the, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about the show, are we? Yeah. Just yeah. checking. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. It allows them to expand much more to different kind of areas of, of, of the legend they haven't gone to before mm. because it, it allows Mer it's kind of given Merlin and Arthur more scope to develop as characters within the realms of a bigger picture as it were so, so there's always a lot of pressure on them and because yeah. we come in it allows little kind of subplots to happen and we create and this sort of banter atmosphere yeah. that goes on you know there's all you know there's always this banter going on between the knights Mm. Um, which is great because we can now do that with Merlin like Arthur used to sort of take the mick out of Merlin and stuff you know have that night with the knights as well and you also get to see Arthur how he reacts you know he's leading men and the battles so that the battles we're a part of he's leading a group of men which before you've just haven't seen that as much um, there hasn't been specific characters like so bringing us more to the forefront gives him a lot more to play with and we then bring in all the humour and the pathos and, and the, uh, no, and the yeah, glamour and the all, heart all the heart all the heart, heart. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> could you possibly tease us with one particular sort of favourite character moment that you've got coming from uh, from series four? Ooh, can we do that when, when Leon's is alive? <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, and let someone else say something. Uh, no, there's a there's a moment when we will turn. There's a moment where we our friendship switches a little bit. Like the kind of group of boys. There's a little bit of tension in the group when we turn against each other. It involves a female. As yeah, always. Surprisingly. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. She is not what she seems. Again? Surprisingly. I mean, who, <laughs> exactly. who would have thought? Who would have thought? A woman with a past and a secret. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, and a while ago, I uh, spoke to Katie McGrath and a few other members of the cast, and they said they get quite beaten up during the show because a lot of people do their own stunts or do a lot of pulling around and uh, stuff like yes. that. Um, did you do your own stunts, and was there a degree of one upmanship? I rolled hey, a into a tree. I would quite happily <laughs> yeah. do every single one of my stunts. So they, they sometimes don't let us do them, mm -hmm. uh, but I, w I would quite happily do everything. If we could. I do all my own stunts. Um, these guys don't. Um, uh, no, there's a lot. It depends who you're fighting. I think the thing is, what happens is when you're in the heat of the moment, you're doing lots of sword fights, and things can happen. But it's you know you you do get a few bruises and things. Yeah, you get a real knock. So especially if you fight Owen because he closes his eyes and he does it. And, yeah. and you I rode did. a horse into a tree. I did. I did. But I'm okay. When did you do that? Last week. You weren't there. <laughs> no one was there. But I was that I, you was on your own. You was on your rocking horse. No. <laughs> We were galloping up a hill in the, re with the wet and the rain, and it was dramatic and windy, and then the horses ran into a tree because it wasn't listening. Did you steer it into a tree? Or no, did it horses are naturally it? meant to avoid trees. This one didn't. I think it's easy to ask, ask him a question. Yeah. Sorry. So, Tom, you stop asking me <laughs> questions. Fine, you're making so Tom does here. this. Tom yeah. tends to take over, you know, and tries to dictate what's going on. It's a bit wow. <laughs> okay. Just saying no, we'll play that game. We'll play that game. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think now no, in, in general, our stunts are quite good. I mean, we get to do all our own sword fights and all that kind of stuff, you know. Um, and all the like Tom at the rugby tackle we did today, <laughs> yeah. which was interesting. It's hilarious. So, yeah, lots of fun. But we do have amazing stunt guys, so we are very lucky yeah. that we end up looking 
looking good because we take a helmet off and, and it looks like it's us. But like the jazz team backflips and things like that. So we're very lucky to have these great guys. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like jazz team backflips. Name backflips of horse. Name 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 one of the stunt guys. One of the guys. <laughs> <laughs> I know loads of them. Yeah. Wait, wait what? Welsh or <laughs> Welsh or French? <laughs> Jacques Louis, you may be a random French name. Jean Claude Van Damme. There's lies. Chino. Like, Chino. He's one. Anyway, I know them all. Yeah, next question. They've asked us to remain anonymous. In the spirit of the competition you clearly have, who would win in a fight, Percival, Leon, or Graham? See, that is so great. And that means he would come. It's just cold honesty. It's just trying to say it how it is, mate. He wants an honest answer. Okay, I'm not going to lie about it. Let's just say it how it is. I'm just it depends saying. what kind of fight it was. Whether it was a sore fight, whether it was a yeah, an arm wrestle. An arm wrestle. An arm wrestle. I think this guy would win. <laughs> yeah, All other fights. Yeah, I'll, I'll take you on a sword as well, mate. I'd win paper rock scissors. <laughs>